Hello everybody and welcome to the first game of the first season of Advanced Wars Tournament Series. And today we have Lord Pazuzu vs Trix, one of the first games in the tournament. Actually the whole groups is already was already played and we are in quarterfinals now, but it took me quite a while to start casting those games. But hopefully it will be a lot of fun. I mean the tournament already has been a lot of fun, but I hope I'm able to at least do some some decent casting after a while. This is this is my first first time casting games, so bear with me a little bit. But hopefully I'll get better as we go along. So I'll introduce our players. Lord Pazuzu, he's around 1k. He's from Mexico and he's most used used CEO on Advanced Wars by Web. He's Olaf. In Trix, he's around, he's a bit above 800. His most used CEO is Zedder, and he's from USA. And they both banned Sammy for this game, for the whole groups, I think. A lot of people banned Sammy on this tournament for groups. They both banned the map Haifong. It's a, a small map with two bases and one star, uh, airport. <laughs> Sorry for the, the StarCraft stuff. Uh, Trix banned Birds on the Wire in Normandy, so I think he's not very fond of small maps. And Lord Pazuzu banned Hidden Edge. I I don't even remem remember how Hidden Edge is, but I think I, I like this map. So let's get the game started. I turned on the fog so you can only see what the players are seeing for now. I mean, oh, okay, now I turned on the fog. So both of them are just going for... The, that early base, Lord Pazuzu is going for the the property here, of course, because he can reach any of those at first. And this lander here, I think it, sh it would be better to have it here. I had a lot of trouble on this map at first, I lost most of my games. But then I learned with a guy that was literally stomped me with an aggressive opponent. He would put his lander here and then drop all his units, I think, here or here. I'm not sure where this can reach. I think here. So you can get a lot of units early and deny this cone tower, which is really cool. And Okay, so they're both just doing early game, basic captures. Lord Pazuzu is already going for the... the port which is has a capture chain, we can go from this to this, right? So this is very standard stuff. So Trix is getting the airport and the port now. And they're just going for the normal captures. Trix is opening with a tank. And Lord Pazuzu... I don't know what his plan is, for now he's just doing normal captures and his lander is really on the face of Trix now and he gets an early artillery on the left side, on the strong side I would say which I think is a good move according to DJ okay so he, the lander gets trapped here for Trix this is what Lord Pazuzu was trying to do Trix is sending his infantry now here to capture on the center and his tank is going in on the right Lord Pazuzu used the lander just to get a little boost for his infantry here I think his plan is actually to put the, the artillery on the lander because if he wanted to put on the left side he could have moved, the, moved it around here Trix is trying to move his landers, but on the, the right side is kind of hard. I don't know why he's, he's stopping here. Okay, like the infantry can reach here, but it can drop on the mountain as well, and it should be pretty much defended, right? And I don't think Lord Pazuzu would have anything here anyway, so... And Trix is moving his recon. He's also got another tank on the left side now. And Lord Pazuzu... 
He's moving all his units through the slender and dropping on the center. He's now capturing this first property here on the center, more, you know, around here. So I think he's got a bigger presence on the center than Trix for now. And he's just moving some infantry on the sides. He's got an anti-air, which is really cool, because copters could be coming soon. Even though, you know, the air part is on the left side, so I don't know why he's getting on the, the right side. Maybe he's just going to move to the center as well. So Trix is going in with the recon, and the tank is on the woods, which is really nice. So it can be attacked unless you have some someone to spot here, some infantry which Lord Pazuzu doesn't have for now. I mean, this, there's this guy here, but he will take two turns together. So he's moving the tank here, tricks that is. And he's got the, the copter now on the left side. Lord Pazuzu is moving his stuff mostly just to the center, even the, the entire is going to the center now. And he moved his lander again, maybe he wants to trap <laughs> Trick's lander again. I mean, it will probably work, I think, because if you want to move to the right side here, Black Block is here, but the lander is already here, so I don't know what I'm talking about. And Trix is capturing a bunch of stuff. I mean, he doesn't have much more of a presence on the left side, but on the right side he has the recon and the tank, and he's already capturing this base right here. This city, I should say. And now he's shooting at this infantry with his tank on the the road. I don't think that's a great, that that's necessarily a great move, because if Lord Pazuzu had a tank here, he could be in some trouble, but he's got the copter covering, so I don't know. Trix got another tank on the left side, so he now he's going to go heavy on the right, le, right, left side. Oh my god! I think he, since he had some too much stuff from Lord Pazuzu on the left, he thinks it's safe to get more stuff here on the, the left side. But the problem is, Lord Pazuzu is really going hard on the center. I don't think he cares much about the sides at this point. And let's see if that pays off for Lord Pazuzu. He's being very defensive with his infantry on the right side. He's pretty much giving up the cone tower for now. And Trix is killing some more infantry for now. Of Lord Pazuzu on the left side, and he's gonna move his lander with this tank on the center. Oh my god, okay, so he's just see this tank, and he gets a copter in the center. I don't know if that was a reaction to the tank here because his tank is going to take a lot of damage from another tank on the city. So for now there wasn't too much fight, I mean... I think Lord Pazuzu lost two infantry and that was it. Another one now, three I think. And... Trix got the artillery on the left side, and now Lord Pazuzu is moving in with his tanks, and the artillery got a shot as well, really nice. So yeah, everything is going to the center, Lord Pazuzu is pretty much going all in on the center, I think. Even this tank, like, he, he doesn't want anything here on the left side, he's like, off this ship. His infantry got trapped here by the tank. I don't... I mean, he could... Couldn't he had tried to move through the mountain? I don't know if he had to go through the road, but now he just lost this infantry and this one as well. And Trix is getting a lot of infantry, but for now he's losing on the center, and he already lost a tank as well. So that hurts a bit. Okay, so his copter on the center got some damage on this tank. 
but I think Lord Pazuzu has uh, an anti-air and another, I mean two copters at this point, this one can reach quite yet, but... And on the le the right side, Trix I think wants to go for the count tower as well. I mean, he can try because Lord Pazuzu is really just defending here. He has a mech here as well, which is a really good move because of those mountains, right? Yeah, in, at this point Lord Pazuzu is really behind on, on unit count and on income, but his presence on the center is like super strong. So the tank moves in, gets this little infantry here, interrupts the capture, right? And he goes in with the battle copter, I think he doesn't want to show this, this anti-air for now, maybe... Trix has a tank here that can punish that. Next okay, so he goes in with the anti-air to finish. I think he could just could have just attacked with the anti-air at first, if that was the case. But if, maybe he was trying to get some vision around here this part. Of it. And Trix go for the the side slip, the the seal power of Vader that gives one extra movement. So he gets that tank, I believe, was here. Let me go back because I'm I'm getting lost in my own words a bit. And yeah, I think it was a tank. So he's backing off a bit on the center. Oh, it's really tough for tricks right now. Like, he has a bunch of infantry on the center, but they are all kind of trapped on those mountains here. And on the left side, he's, he's going really well for him, but I think he's a little bit of an overextension here. I mean, if you get an anti-air here, you can reach those copters. I think one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he can reach one of those copters at, at least. And now his recon sees everything here. Lord Pazuzu made a, a copter as well to help hold this con tower. And Lord Pazuzu goes for the si side slip. Is that a, what's it called? And he's gonna interrupt this capture here and kill this infantry. He's gonna go in with the copter as well and attack the recon. He doesn't wanna target the tank just yet. I don't know why that is. I mean, it's good to deny vision, but he. Trix already has a, an infantry here on the, the mountain, so I don't know if that, that makes much more difference. And he's got this copter as well. Oh man, that hurts. Trix is losing pretty hard on the center, but he's got 4k income advantage for now, and he's got a unit advantage as well, though I think Earth Pazuzu is gonna have more units once so that turns in. The turn ends. So he's. He has pretty much the wall of China here on the center, like tricks can do anything really. And he's moving the the copter to the the right now, since center is pretty much secure for the most part. And okay, so tricks gets a bit of damage on the that's entire and he kills the, the mech here. But he's still to capture this stone tower, which was his plan, I think, on the side, though he's got a, a bunch of properties. He's 6k ahead now in income of Azuzu. But the situation here on the center is really tough. Like, his units are all far away from the center, and I think there is a. Uh, uh, an HQ cap coming in. Okay, so he attacks uh, an anti uh, with a copter. I don't know if that's a good move. He could have, he, he could be moving this to the the right, I think. And Lord Pazuzu is equalizing a bit the difference in income right now on the sides. I mean, Trix is just overextending. Like those two copters died pretty much for free here, and I mean they killed a bit of infantry, but that was it pretty much. And Lord Pazuzu has got the center, and now he's going in. He gets the first hit on this tank and kills this other tank and kills the copter on the airport. So he's pretty much locking this airport now on the center. 
I mean, the situation for Trix is really complicated now. He's behind in units, and the turn didn't even end for Lord Pazuzu, and he's got like 5k unit value. Trix is trying to fight back a bit on the center with his infantry, but he just resigns. I mean, it's, it's really tough, Lord Pazuzu killed like 70,000 and a half. And Trix has got like half of that. I mean, Lord Pazuzu just lost like half of what he killed, and all of that was because he got the center early, and then Trix, and he knew how to give up those two sides. So I think Lord Pazuzu played that really well. I think Trix overextended, overextended a bit here. If he he. Front switch to the center, both after you know taking those properties here. I mean, he's, you got a, your con tower. This con tower, the game ended and he still doesn't have it. So that's a sign you shouldn't be trying to capture the con tower as well. It's a little bit too much greed in my opinion. But that was it. So Lord Pazuzu won the first game of the tournament. And if you like the video, give me a, a thumbs up and leave suggestions. I need to become better at casting and everything, but I hope I'll do a better job next time. And subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss, and I'll see you guys next time.